Hello everyone, today we will cover an important topic that is thermistor. So let me to introduce what is thermistor. Basically, a thermistor is an electrical component, an electrical device whose resistance depends upon the variation in temperature. We simply indicate that if you vary temperature, then the magnitude of the resistance of that device that is basically a thermistor also varies respectively and accordingly. So there are basically two types of thermistors that is NTC and PTC. We simply indicate the negative temperature coefficient and positive temperature coefficient. Now, first of all, I would like to tell you that what is temperature coefficient? Temperature coefficient basically it is a quantity that represents the sensitivity of the thermistor. Greater the tem temperature coefficient, greater will be the sensitivity of the thermistor. So let's talk about what is NTC and what is PTC. PTC, a positive temperature coefficient, is type of thermistor whose resistance also increases when the temperature of this environment increases. I repeat, when temperature increases, then the resistance of a thermistor increases. This type of thermistor we categorize as a PTC, i.e. the positive temperature coefficient. Why in contrast, if we look at another type of thermistor that is NTC. So NTC is a type of thermistor whose resistance decreases with the fall in, uh, with the fall in uh, temperature of the environment. So this type of uh, devices are an electrical component that is temperature is called negative temperature coefficient. So now let's define this in a little detail. Let's get started. So as I have told you earlier that thermistor is a device that uh, whose resistance varies with changes in temperature. So a device whose resistance varies with changes and temperature so I have also told you that it has two types I even have categorized thermistor into two categories that is PTC and NTC sorry this is NTC. This shows that positive temperature coefficient and it indicates negative temperature coefficient. So now, what is the basic difference between these two? So the basic difference between these two, PTC is a type of thermistor that uh, whose, when we varies, when we increases temperature, then their then their resistances increases correspondingly. Like if we are incrementing the temperature of its environment, then their resistances increases accordingly. Or vice versa like if you reverse the phenomena that you are reducing the temperature then the resistances also began to fall but by the contrary if we look at NTC that is negative temperature coefficient when we increase temperature then their resistances goes on falling but if we reverse the phenomena that is if we reduce the temperature then the resistance goes on and increases. So this is these are the two type of temperature coefficient. I repeat that what is temperature coefficient? Temperature coefficient. The basic definition, though the basic definition of coefficient is something else, but uh, if we look at them like informally, that uh, then it means that and and simply indicate that a temperature coefficient basically represent the sensitivity of any device that may be a resistor, resistor that may be a thermistor. So what is coefficient? This, this is basically thermal coefficient which is really represented by alpha. So it is basically represent 
so this is all about alpha that is temperature coefficient so it represents the sensitivity of a compound of a component if we have a compound that is uh, like if it has a greater coefficient a greater uh, thermal coefficient that it means that it is very it is very sensitive to temperature detection it means that if we made a small changes in temperature then their resistances will be uh, resistance will be very in a greater um, you can say in a greater in magnitude so if we reduce the temperature uh, then there will be um, a highly changes in resistances as well it means that a small change in temperature causes a huge changes in their resistances so this was all about uh, the misters. Hope you have completely understood. Thank you so much for watching.